Welcome to the Allison Online Learning Center Getting Started Tutorial. To begin, open up a browser and head to the Allison website www.alison.com. Now, if you are new to Allison, you'll begin by creating a new account. So you enter your name, your email, create a password, the city town you're in, and the country. Once you have completed this form, it'll take you to another form that says your account has been created, log in, and then you enter your login details here. Now if it's the first time you're logging onto the website, you'll see a, a page with three checkboxes that enable Allison to communicate better with you, and they also allow the advertisers on Allison who are sponsoring your learning to contact you. So I'd recommend that the three checkboxes are created now are checked. Now I have an account already. So I will log in with my account. Oops. Now from here, once you're logged in, you um, get a look at the free courses that Allison Online Learning Center provides. You can take your time through these. You can see what each one is about. You can read course information about the course. It tells you which modules are in the course. You can see screenshots from the course. And when you're ready, you can press start. Now the course that I would recommend to anybody new to a computer is a typing course. And we'll type in typing and we'll see they have one. Yes, there is. Touch typing skills. So once again, you can look at the screenshots, but in this case, I really recommend that if you're new to a computer at all, so much of what you do will be typing, even whether it's an email or um, another type of project, that typing will make it much easier. You'll feel much more comfortable on a computer. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. Now here it shows where I have started this touch typing course already and I have because I have tried a number of times to create this video and the green A's are the places that I have um, so, uh, completed already and it provides me with my learning record. Now in my, my um, yes, well we'll go on, uh, we'll go to the introduction. continue this is the introduction to training the teacher is speaking to me as before follow the computer's example on the next screen and focus on proper technique try to type the letters quickly while typing as few incorrect keys as possible you will need to reach a goal score in order to continue it is okay though if even if you're a practice typist it will sharpen up your skill significantly to be working your way through a basic typing course like this. It is mildly interactive. You'll notice the teacher's eyes are following the mouse around. And overall, the, the course has a very nice presentation. This is one of the advertiser ads. If you're interested in the advertisers, please click on them and check out the links because as said, uh, as uh, as I said earlier, the advertisers are sponsoring your learning. They're what keeps your learning free. So by all means, check out the sites that appear to be interesting. You can listen with sound on or sound off. And I'll begin the lesson.
So you'll notice a couple of things. You'll notice my score is being tabulated on the left in the current score. And you'll notice a green status bar is gradually moving across as this exercise is nearing completion. The course completion certificate is recognized by employers and members of the business community. And it can be used to um, it can be used to increase your skill set. Congratulations. Now we offered to move ahead, but I'm gonna go back to my account and just show where I've been. You can log out at any time and when you return it will automatically bring you right back into the course at your current progress level. You can download your learning record at any time and see what that looks like. And there is mine in this case. It doesn't show an awful lot, but it's it's coming. And the more you do, the more complete your learning record is going to look like. My course is currently enrolled in is simply this typing. And if you want to make updates to your profile, you can. And if you had to log out, like I said, you can. Now logging back in again brings you right back there. So feel free to log out at any time. Oops, I must have pressed the wrong key. Let's try that again. Log out at any time, come back in, see where your standings are in your courses. They're right here shows you how far you are in your progress and you can touch typing to begin. Quick start. Once again it shows you where you are and now you can continue. You can read comments. You can comment on this course. It looks like Fun. Wish me luck. Next, we will do a warm-up exercise for your right index and you finger. Can add your comment to those who have been typing already. Next, we will do a warm-up exercise for your right index finger. Follow the computer's example on the next. And you can suggest this course to a friend. So, if you know someone that you might like to say they've prepared a letter for you. Feel free to make any changes that you like in this. This regards. <clears throat> see. It's a lot of fun. And continue on to step two. And you can enter uh, email address of a friend or you can import your addresses and let everybody know in one fell swoop. Thanks. Share with others. Confirm and send e-invitation. And that's how to get started with Allison Learning Center. If you have any questions, I'm one of the volunteers for Canada, but there are plenty of people in the Allison community that would love to help, and feel free to contact us with your questions.